hey guys welcome back to my channel eg motion designs and in today's video we are going to create the simple looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of some simple techniques and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second and background color, we are going to choose red color just for now and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles section. then I am going to select my ellipse tool and over here I am going to choose white color for this fill. And by holding shift, I'm going to create one ellipse. Now select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now select this ellipse uh, shape layer. In search option, I'm going to type size. So I'll get this size reading and size I'm going to choose 700. Okay. Or let's choose 800 over here and we will create one keyframe then hit U so we will get only this keyframe now select this and hit ctrl D hit U and let's make this 700 and change the color of this one to white now select this hit ctrl D hit U select this one and change the color of this one to uh, first of all uh, let's change the height so I mean size 600 and change the color of this one to white select this hit ctrl d hit u let's make this 500 hit ctrl d hit u let's make this 400 hit ctrl d hit u let's make this 300 hit ctrl d hit u let's make this 200 select this hit ctrl d hit u and let's make this 100 and change the color of this one to black okay now after doing that we will delete those keyframes we don't sorry we don't need that so hit u then after doing that uh, we will go to the align tab and over here we are going to choose align bottom so all of them are going to be aligned at the bottom but what we need over here this anchor point should be at the center so for that what we can do uh, i'm going to press y on my keyboard to select my pen behind tool and select this uh, uh, for example this one and also enable this snapping option over here so simply bring this anchor point properly at the center and because we have this ellipse over here which edge is properly touching the center so that's why it is easy to adjust this that's why I have uh, created only eight uh, ellipse like that then similarly we need to follow this procedure for each and every ellipse all you need to do simply bring this uh, at the center so let's zoom in a little bit and let's bring this properly at the center over here we will follow this procedure for each and every ellipse okay so let's check it out whether they are properly aligned or not yep now after that what we are going to do i'm going to select this and let's make it a parent with this one select this let's make it a parent with this one select this and make it a parent with this one so we will parent with one which is in front of it like this okay so our parenting is done now simply select all of them and press r for rotation tool create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around one second and we will rotate it like this let's make this eight or let's make this nine over here let's go to the start let's make this minus nine okay so if you see we'll get something like this let's go to around two second and let's make this minus nine minus 
now select those keyframes and by holding alt i am going to move them up to 4 second now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and we will move one handle over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay then uh, we need a little bit smoothness so for that what we can do hit page down button one to two times select all of them hold alt close bracket to trim this right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok and simply increase the duration of it go to the start and hold alt open bracket to move them all of over here so if you see this now you will get this animation something like this okay so let's hit ctrl z again what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to increase the duration of it up to 5 seconds properly. Then select this layer first. Then by holding select the shift, select this layer, right click, keyframe assistance, sequence layers, hit OK. And now increase the duration and go to the start. And by holding Alt, open bracket, we will trim this over here. So if you see, we will get this kind of animation over here. Now hit n uh, and now you will get this kind of stuff then press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this backward let's make this fit select the last layer first go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply make this distance to 20 softness to 400 and uh, color we are going to choose something like bluish stuff over here and you can select this drop shadow effects you can simply select all of them and hit ctrl v like this so you will get this kind of depth over here and if you see this now this animation is in the form of loop and if you want you can select this one or let's right click new and create one null object select this one and let's move this over here select this go to the start press r create one keyframe go to the last keyframe which is somewhere around over here and let's make this one complete rotation okay let's go to the start and if you hit play now you will get this kind of stuff like this and then let's go over here to the last one select uh, all of them press ctrl shift c hit ok hold alt close bracket and if you think this is quite uh, slow so you can right click go to the time time stretch and you can make this 70 for example and let's go somewhere around over here and let's hit and over here so now this animation will animate a little bit fast it will take a little bit time to preview this animation but final output would be awesome okay so this is how you can create this kind of continuous looping animation you can go inside this select all of them and you can enable their motion blur also so uh, there is a small motion blur over here we will get in our final output and then if you want you can right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply and you can swap this color to get different results you can play around with this color also it's totally up to you so this is how you can create this kind of animations that you like to do